All right, so I've got my uh, tuner that I ordered. Uh, finally showed up today. Actually, it showed up a couple days ago. Today's the first day that I've gotten around to uh, getting the first program done. And so there was three three things that I wanted this programmer for. One is to adjust my tire size so my speedo and my shift points will be correct. A lot of people don't realize that whenever you put bigger tires on, not only is it going to affect your uh, speedometer, but your transmission shift points are not going to be uh, as optimized as they should be because now the the transmission thinks you're either going faster or slower than what you really are, so the transmission is going to shift differently. Um, and obviously, the bigger or smaller the tire is from the original size, the the more problems you may have. So I wanted to be able to adjust my tire. I put slightly bigger tires on. It's probably not going to make that big of a difference, um, but we're going to find out because I've got uh, I got this phone here that's got an app for a speedometer. It does a really good job on measuring your distance and your speed. So we're going to use that to compare the actual speed using our GPS versus uh, what the speedometer is saying. Um, so I, I wanted this programmer for that. I also wanted it to delete the AFM. And when I end up doing that, I'll show you or, or I'll explain to you why you may want to delete your AFM. I actually like the AFM. I like the fact that it does go into four-cylinder mode. A lot of people don't like that. On this particular truck, this is a 2016 uh, GMC Sierra with the 5.3. It is so fluid, you do not feel whenever it switches from four-cylinder to V8. You don't feel it. Some people swear that they feel it and they don't like the way it feels. I mean, I have sat there and tried and tried to feel when it switches I can't I can't feel it I'm, I'm kind of wondering if what they're feeling is actually the transmission sh down shifting or up shifting and that might be what they're feeling instead but I don't know maybe maybe their trucks are different um, and the third thing that I wanted this for uh, was obviously to uh, so I can program either 87 octane performance versus uh, better gas mileage to see you know if, if I can get any uh, effect out of that I'm not so much the truck's got plenty of power I, I'm not one of those power guys that cares about you know getting an extra 15 or 20 horsepower to me that's so negligible when you're already I, I forget what this engine makes 355 I think horsepower I just don't think another 15 or 20 horsepower at max RPM is really going to be that much of a difference for anything I do. Um, some people it means a lot to. To me it doesn't. I, the number one thing this truck is used for is to drive back and forth to work. I would rather have better gas mileage and then the 1 or 2% that I need the power, uh, you know, worry about it then. But anyway, enough rambling on. We're going to drive this down the road. We're going to compare the speed with the GPS speed, see how far off it is, if it is at all. Anyway, I think these tires are about one inch taller than the uh, uh, original tires, so probably not going to be that that far off. And then we'll do the program to change to whatever. I've already measured the tires, got the tape measure right there. They're right at they're they're about 32 and a quarter. Uh, so we'll see what options the programmer gives us. It, it may just go up in one inch increments. If it allows us to put in 32 and a quarter, we'll put in 32 and a quarter. Otherwise, we may just have to go with 32. But uh, we'll see how far off it is, and we'll go from there. So let me get on the road, and then I'll bring the video back and show you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the cruise control at about 65 miles an hour, and we'll see what the speed is versus the uh, GPS. And... Uh, then when we get on the other side of the bridge, I'll hook the programmer up. We'll go through the program. Okay, so we're getting up to 65 miles an hour. Right about there. Okay, cruise set at 65. Then 
looks like we're only one mile an hour off. So, I mean, that's that's actually well within acceptable limits, I would think. Uh, but we'll see if we can get it right on the money. Actually, let's take it up to 70. That's 71. So yeah, we're about one mile an hour different. Having to slow down, there's a car in front of me. So, okay, so we're only about one mile an hour different. So we're gonna get over here, hook the programmer up, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and punch in 32 inch tires and we'll see if it makes any difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this. Yeah, I don't know how important that is, but I'm going to have to kill the, cup, the truck. I like that AC. And like I say, you know, the, the speedo is only about one mile an hour off. It hit 67 a couple times, but... Uh, Uh, hold on a minute. I don't know where the, uh, this first time I've used this, so bear with me. I think stock with options is where we need to be. Yep. Okay, uh, you know what, and while we're here, no, I never, I never hit the rev limiter. Speed limiter. May as well do the speed limiter. Raised value. Okay, there's tire size. So we're going to... Take this up to 32 and a, no, that's 31, 32 and a quarter. Press to save. Okay, so. And you know, while I'm here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see about adjusting the uh, shift points too. Because it shifts into second way too soon, in my opinion. And we'll go ahead and do this one too. We're going to go 3 mile an hour, 200 RPM on that one. And the shift pressure is how hard it's going to... Uh, we're just going to go moderate. And we'll see how that does. And there's the other stuff that you can program. There's the AFM. And I'll get into why you may want to turn that off. Um... And again, why you may not, but I'm going to adjust the uh, the tire pressure because I run these tires at 40 psi. Front and rear. Okay. So it's building the tune right now. It's getting ready to actual program it.
and I'll do another video on I'm, I'm actually going to do I'm going to try to be as thorough as I can as far as deleting the AFM and doing the uh, performance tune I'm going to do a 25 mile drive we're going to check um, gas mileage and then we'll do the tune and also the AFM delete to see how that affects that same exact drive as far as gas mileage. So hopefully it'll be one of the more, uh, I don't know if you want to call it scientific, but hopefully it'll be a uh, very thorough check to see if these tunes actually are, are effective at anything other than you know just giving you an extra 15 or 20 horse there's been people verify they've dyno tested their vehicles after they've done a tune and you can pull those up on youtube that depending on the tune you can get 15 horsepower extra uh, just on the 87 octane uh, tune and like i say i'm not really that interested in that i don't think that most of us drive i forget what the rpm range was for the full 15 horsepower i think is around three three grand 3200 rpm or, or maybe even higher than that and we just don't drive you know we don't drive in that rpm range so under normal driving i, I just don't think you're going to really see much of a difference uh in another 15 horsepower tune so Okay, so now you can see stock with options tuning is now installed. Press OK to continue. So, that should have done it. Let's see what it says here. Okay, TPM has been modified. It has to do all the different modules. That's why it, it has you turn the key on and off so many times. You know, we did, so it's doing, let's see, I know it's doing transmission and the TPMS module programming. I don't know if it's going to do any engine. We didn't really change any engine, I don't think. Okay, so now we're all done. Keys off, I'm going to unplug, and then we're going to, we're going to drive it. You guys won't be able to tell if the transmission's any different, but hopefully I will. And uh, we're going to see if we if it actually changed the speedometer any. So I'm going to I'm going to pause here, and then we'll get back on the bridge, and we'll see we'll see what it looks like. All right, we're back on the road. We're going to come up to about 65. About right there, I think. Oh, let me turn the cruise on. I guess we it reset and uh, turned it off. Let me drop my speed back down a little bit. Okay, 65. 65. So, like I said, the, uh, you know, that's not much of a difference. But, uh, at least now we're right on the money. So, you know. At least we have that and then uh, I didn't really feel a whole lot of difference in the transmission shift points so I might want to up those even a little bit more and like I said I'll do another video on programming the uh, for the 87 octane tune 
We'll see what kind of gas mileage we get before and after that. And I also am going to delete the AFM. And we'll see how that affects the gas mileage. So hopefully those will be kind of interesting. I'm kind of curious to see how it, uh, how it affects everything. Anyway, that's about all I got. I'm out. I just wanted to go through on this uh, Predator 2 and show the uh, minimum and max tire size that it will support. So we're right here at the tire size menu and we're just going to take it all the way down as far as it'll go. Okay, so it'll go down to a 26 inch tire. That's obviously the diameter. Now we're going to go as high as it'll go. It'll go up to a 38 inch tire. So if you guys are thinking about getting one of these and your tires are either bigger or smaller than 26 inches or 38 inches, then you might have to consider doing something else. But I just wanted to throw that out there too. So 36, uh, 26 and 38 inch. Just wanted to put that in this video so that you guys will know.